now that you're experienced and you've learned how to do in-house SEO, what are three things that you know today <clears throat> that you think, oh my gosh, I wish someone had told me about this when I started? Mm -hmm. Well, my biggest learning experience came when I was in-house at onvia.com several years ago. And IT, the IT team put together this huge project and spent millions on it. And I didn't find out about it until it was already all the way built. And it was something designed to get us more search traffic. And I had had no input into it. And so it was not as successful as we wanted it to be. And from that, I've really learned that you need to be checking in with people. And like I said, you know, outside of the people that you see in your day to day, like make a point of going and saying, hey, what are you working on? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. um, don't, don't get blindsided. Um, and I think that another thing that can really happen with in-house SEOs uh, is complacency. It's really easy to be like, well, this is handled, so I'm just going to sort of let it sit and work on this other thing or, you know, to get really into a groove um, in terms of how you do things. Mm -hmm. And that's when you start missing things. That's when you're not innovating. You're not necessarily being as sharp as you could be. Right. And so I think, like, coming to conferences like this is a great way to get out of that because you have all of these new st these new tools and these new tricks that you're going to go home and try, try out, which is amazing. Perfect. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.